Good afternoon. Welcome to Queen of the Classroom. A totally different setting right now because I'm at one of Mackenzie's soccer tournaments. And it got me thinking that I never gave you guys my thoughts on participation trophies and ribbons. And I absolutely despise them. So I thought, you know what, half time. Let's go ahead and record this because I can do this anywhere and it's on my mind. So let's talk about it. Okay, participation trophies to me totally dilute the winning because if everyone just gets something for merely showing up, then what, what's so special about being exceptional about something? So now I, I'm a very highly competitive person. I was first born of four. I played volleyball, softball, as first chair clarinet. I have multiple advanced degrees. I am a force to be reckoned with when it comes to any sort of competition. Like I wanna win everything. I'm just that type of person. So when I do win, I want that reward. Now I don't want something if I'm just merely showing up, I feel like that's not quite fair to the winners. So in my class, when we play Kahoot or Grudge Ball, which teachers, when we get back to normalcy, grudge ball, mm, I have never seen a team of people create alliances and break alliances as quickly as what I do when we're playing grudge ball. I'll have to show you guys that because I stole that from my friend Judy. She's, she's amazing. You know, I reference her all the time. She's amazing. I need to tell her that more often, but she is quite amazing. Um, but uh, Kahoot, Grudge Ball, uh, the class with the fewest missing assignments. I always reward the winners. I don't reward second, third, fourth, fifth place. I reward the winners. And that's because like, if you are second, third, fourth, just try harder. Do better. Be better. <laughs> now, okay, so let's talk about the world stage, right? So the Olympics. Does second, third, place to get some absolutely and they should because they are world-class athletes but I'm talking about you know those smaller moments where you're just expected to receive something for merely showing up so I'll give you an example um Bailey's soccer team her first year I think she was five I volunteered to be the team mom at the end of the year coach asked me to get trophies for all the girls. And I said, well, what, what did we win? Because at her age, you don't even play other teams. You just scrimmage yourself within a practice. There are no games. So I said, what, what did, what did we win? And he goes, oh, well, we just get a trophy every year. And I said, but again, like, what did we, what did we win? And he goes, um, you know, I just, you know, she's always had trophies. She like displays them. She likes to display them. He was talking about his daughter and I uh, decided not to get the trophies. <laughs> I got these cute, glitterly, gl glitter, glittery, glittery headbands with their names on it. It was gorgeous, and not the trophies. Um, I was asked to not be team mom next year, and I also said I just won't be the team mom next year. So <laughs> I just stick to my guns about it. But anyway, to wrap this up, I, I feel like diluting the win occurs when just everyone gets something for showing up. And I don't agree with that. I think you need to show that grit, that perseverance and be first if you win something monumental. So I don't know how you feel about it. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below <laughs> how you feel about participation trophies or ribbons or, um, yeah, I I do not like those because I think it just, uh, sorry, ta side tangent. I think it just lends itself to, you know, always expecting something merely for doing bare minimum work. No, I need you to work harder for that. Maybe it comes down to my high standards that I hold for students as well. But I just, I can't get behind participation trophies. I just can't get behind it. <laughs> have a great day make smart choices be kind to one another Mackenzie's game second half is about to get started so I gotta go enjoy the beautiful day and uh take care of yourself bye